By the end of this video, you are going to be able to answer a lot of the same questions that I get pretty frequently from clients that have either osteoporosis or osteopenia. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Ed Debu, physical therapist from Integrated Physical Therapy in Bellingham, Washington. So when I have a client in here that has either osteopenia or osteoporosis, the first thing that I tell them is there's three important things that in my opinion you need to get going on right away. Number one, you need to start a daily walking program. Now sometimes people will have issues with, well you know what, my foot hurts, my knee hurts, my ankle hurts. Well we need to address that weak link so that you can start getting out and start tracking your steps in a daily walking program, seven days a week, walking for exercise. If you look at the literature, your goal is to hit 7,500 steps a day or more. The second thing to track is your protein levels. I'll put a video right up here that talks about how to calculate it, but basically we need to have enough protein in our diet, 1.6 grams per kilogram of body weight, in order to help maintain the muscle mass that we have, because as we start strengthening, it is the increased muscle mass that's going to help increase bone density. And the third thing is a strengthening program. Now, if you're already on a strengthening program, great. If you are not, it is now time to start. I'll put a link right up here. Basic home-based strengthening program that you can do requires no specialized equipment that you can start today. So walking, protein, strengthening, let's do that today whether or not you take osteoporosis medication or not. Now let's jump into some of the common questions that I receive pretty regularly. Number one, should I get a bone density? I'm not even sure if I should. My doctor says that I don't need to get one yet. If you look at the literature, they recommend that women starting at the age of 65 and men starting at the age of 70 to go ahead and get a bone scan. However, if you have any of the risk factors, you may wanna to talk to your doctor about getting an osteoporosis screening through a DEXA as early as 50 years old. What are some of the high risk variables? Family member has a history of osteoporosis. You yourself have had a fracture from a standing height fall. Not when you stood on the chair to change the light bulb and you fell over, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a standing height fall. You've been on corticosteroids or prednisone, something like that long-term, greater than three months. Sometimes certain medications affects the way in which we absorb calcium, so that can be a long-term problem. If you have a thyroid condition, if you have rheumatoid arthritis, if you have chronically low vitamin D, if you're a smoker or a drinker, more than two to three glasses of alcohol a day. If you are underweight for whatever reason, that puts you at risk also. And the last one I always ask clients is, do you have a history of any type of long-term GI or gastrointestinal issues? Uh, some people have, well, I've, I've been having trouble with diarrhea or irritable, irritable bowel for years. Well, that becomes an issue because you may be getting the vitamin D and the calcium, but if you have an issue with absorption of these micronutrients, that could also be reflected in the bone. So if you have no risk factors, 65 for female, 70 for men. If you have risk factors as early as 50, you might wanna start talking to your doctor about having it. Second question is, well, I've had a bone density and now I'm not sure whether I should have another one. Well, it depends. If you have a bone density done and you have no signs of osteoporosis, oftentimes the literature says you can go four to five years without a rescan. If you have osteopenia, oftentimes you can go anywhere from two to three years, and then the doctor will take a look at it to see where you're at. If unfortunately you have osteoporosis, you might be looking at a DEXA scan every one to two years to see if you are trending in the right direction. Another question I get is, well, how soon should I get rechecked because I wanna see if what I'm doing is working? It takes a while to build new bone. Whether or not you are doing it naturally without medications or you're doing a combination of medications and exercise, it takes a while. That's a discussion to have with your doctors. If clients ask me, I say to wait at least one year to determine whether or not you're headed in the right direction. Now, the reason the follow-up DEXA is so important is because then we know if whatever we're doing is moving the needle in the right direction. I have clients who are doing all the right things and then they wait for the year, they have another DEXA, we plot the two points on the graph and we see where they're at. If they are holding steady, that's great, we stay the course. However, if they're still dipping in spite of what we're doing, then it just means that we need to do something else 
in order to move that needle in the right direction. Now, if I wait five years and I'm not doing well every year, that could be a pretty significant drop. I recommend having it done definitely sooner than later if you have osteoporosis. And the last tip I have for you, if you can, try to have your DEXA done with the same piece of equipment each time because between every machine, there is a little bit of variability which when we're talking about bone density can become an issue. So ideally in a perfect world, you're having it done at the same facility with the same machine. At the end of this video, I'll put a playlist to all my osteoporosis videos. The important thing is it can feel overwhelming, but like I said, start simple and just start walking, protein and strength training and then make that decision of whether or not you need a DEXA and if you've already had one, whether or not it's time to get a follow-up. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't. All right, take care, and we will see you at the next video.